Matthew chapter 1 The Genealogy of Jesus The Book of the Genealogy of Jesus Christ The Son of David, the Son of Abraham Abraham became the father of Isaac Isaac the father of Jacob Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah whose mother was Tamar Perez became the father of Hezron Hezron the father of Ram Ram the father of Ammonadab Ammonadab became the father of Nashon Nashon the father of Salmon Salmon the father of Boaz whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse. Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam. Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Azaph. Azaph became the father of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham. Jotham the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah. Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh. Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. Shealtiel the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel the father of Abiad. Abiad became the father of Iliakim. Iliakim the father of Azor. Azor the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Achim. Achim the father of Iliad. Iliad the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mothan. Mothan the father of Jacob. Jacob the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus who is called the Messiah. Thus the total number of generations. From Abraham to David is fourteen generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, fourteen generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Messiah, fourteen generations. The birth of Jesus. Now this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they lived together. She was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary your wife into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son and you are to name him Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son. And they shall name him Emmanuel. Which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. He had no relations with her until she bore a son, and he named him Jesus.